Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It is Monday, April 29th, and I'm Uncommon. Welcome to Uncommon Gaming. Last game, we launched heat rockets, pressure rockets, and we started putting down the drills. I, th I think we're going to make some good strides in terraforming today. Welcome. Hello. Let's take a, a kind of look around, get an idea of what we were doing. And where we were at so we can see we have the rocket we have two nuclear a couple of the tier two solar panels over there we have decent materials decent but not great we're gonna need to do some farming and i believe the first thing we really wanted to do is osseum let's check the heat we are one ultimate kelvin ultima kelvin one of those one of those words which means we might have osseum ready to go it's a greek letter mu pronounce mu it means micro here okay micro kelvin mu mu kelvin all right so this should be there we go that is in fact an additional drill Oh, well, that sucks. Low power. Um, can we just keep doing that until we get power? That's not going to be enough. Oh, barely. Just barely. I think it's what's going to be. It's going to be a lot of farming, very specific materials. Back and forth. Putting down drills, setting up, setting up buildings. Aluminum never hurt, though. But I'd like to breathe, so. Ha. T1 algae. Yeah, we're going to start really unlocking things real fast with this terraformation index climbing the way it is. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I have not made the jetpack. No, and that's the jetpack's just competing for iridium rods right now. It's competing for the rockets. Aluminum slowly slowly making this a habitable place uh, It is great gameplay. It's actually a fantastic game We are working on I'm uh, working on getting some automation up for all the materials. We need Putting down these ore extractors everywhere We do need iridium rods for that. So let's go do an iridium run I mean these chests that's a nice hidden chest Oh, that solves some problems for us. Yeah, we could drop some materials for this. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe not that one, but... That's... Oh, shit. All right, so we could drop some iridium. Uh, we're not going to drop the iridium. That That's a good chest find. We'll drop all the other stuff, though. All the basic materials. That is huge. Uh, drills, right. Our, our thing we want is drills, which is going to require stuff we currently have. Let's Let's go ahead and two, three, four. So we want, this is going to be two drills worth we're going to walk around with, right? So we need two iridium rods, which we have. Let's put away a uranium rod. We need two aluminum, which we have. Let's sort this. And we need two titanium, which we have. Awesome. So we're, we're dra dragging this one all the way over here to the entrance. So we're going to put these two drills close to each other. Um, so I put that down. Sulfur. That's fine, right? Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's iron. Okay, so that's not the right one. Oh, this might be one of those moments where I need... Um, I need a tier 2 drill. Wait, do I need the rods for... Do I need the pure uranium for anything else? For rocket engines. You did say we are talking jetpack was, was a possibility. Yeah, we need just... A, we need an iridium trip. All right, so an iridium trip is is, is uh, something we're going to do. We're out of power. We need the iridium. We could also go off exploring. We do have the stuff to do it. There was a super alloy cave over here. Yep, this seems familiar. I believe we found it. Yep. With a tier 2 drill, they, this is a super alloy base finding all the super alloy in here. I do remember this being a little bit of a maze. 
So we're gonna follow the right wall a bit. Oh, I found a weird I found a weird door in the cave. What door? Oh. That's a door. That's new. Hello there. Water check it is. There's water and coffee. I made it myself. Oh, I'm doing great, man. I actually couldn't wait all all weekend. I wanted to play a Planet Crafter, but I couldn't. I couldn't because I had to save it for stream. And the one point update so far has been has been super awesome, and we're not into the ter new territory yet too. So I'm both kind super comfortable with what we've played so far, but also really excited about what's to come. I think it's a. We destroyed that. We put a square. There it is. Perfect. Hello there, Spoopy. Good morning, water check. Right on it. There's water in this coffee. I do love me some coffee, so I appreciate it. All right. Heater. We did take a heater out at one point, too, and I would love to replace it. Let's do that ir iridium run. Blackout curtains of vampire's best friend. I don't know if I would even depend on blackout curtains. I think if I'm a vampire, we're just, it's just walls, basements, right? Like, I'm not going to live or die by the strength of my blackout curtains. Oh, no. I think that, you know, that's coffin. There we go. Coffin material. Get the iridium going. I still want to send up more rockets. I want to send up so many rockets. On the way, we need to pick up a little iron, a little titanium, and one silicon. Stream highlights this morning at 9 o'clock. Hit, hit YouTube. Just a, a good recap of our of our first day. I had a little fun making it. I think I lost the plot along the way and just started putting in every clip of me saying the word aluminum every time I found it. Great success. Would do again. I mean, that's that's definitely a bad height. Where, where's the entrance? Let me put it near an entrance. Is it at the bottom? Yes, it's over here. So let's let's do it over here. We, can we make it at least look like we we built it on something? There we go. And then furniture, right? We want to put a chest, and we want to start storing things in the chest. We don't need all this food, all this water. We might want the oxygen. But there we go. Chest is there. Now we explore. We take two oxygen bottles in. And this is a really nice looking ship. Like, this is something I'd expect... I would love to take this ship out into space. Like, like a crew, a crew simulation game would be a lot of fun. Oh! Oh, my jetpack is just faster. I thought jetpack was just going to be vertical. Holy shit. John was right. I should have done this way earlier. I don't see a... I don't see a bar that that gives me like a stamina bar or a power bar in the jetpack. This is just unlimited power. GPS rocket, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, the, the future. Call me Dr. Stone. Uranium asteroid heat multiplier number two. And this one will, will go off without a hitch this time, yeah? I guess I could have tried to bump into it for fun, but... 
Let's build a ladder right on top of it. Right, that's only one iron. That's that's probably terrible. Okay, let's try again, but with more precision. There we go. Science. Ingenuity. Engineering. Where is it at? Actually. They're higher up. They're higher up. Okay. Okay. That's actually not going to work either. We need one more. No, we already have the iron. And it does link up. We didn't have to make those first couple jumps that big, but... There we go. First up, we could probably focus on making this get some iron off of our board. Bio, bio, there we go, bio lab. Right, the power. We have to do the power. <laughs> power is nuclear is one rod, one more water. Nope, wrong one. Almost have all the things for it, but that explosive powder comes from that lab, so. Bam. Okay, power restored. We now have a base that kind of loops around. We've got biodome and a bio lab and a third super alloy and that's a biodome the big question is where does the biodome go and this is why we give ourselves so much space between the base and the rocket i kind of just knew this was going to take up all this space we're not even talking about like whatever a tier three stuff they've added into the game our base is getting pretty big so Bam, there we go. We've got ourselves a ba uh, slowly expanding base. We're not quite running out of room yet. All right, tier two nuclear requires three rods and a super alloy. We can make a few more rods. There's the third rod, there's the super alloy. Requires Explosive powder and three water bottles. Explosive powder requires almost nothing. Two sulfur, which we have on iridium. One, two, three. Is that it? Nuclear power times two? Nuclear power times two. I am the most nuclearist. Tier 4 is 3 Alcium, 6 Super Alloy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. I think that's the best thing we can make right now. And it's got a good mass to it. Let's get it, uh, let's get it here. Hell yeah. Um, we want to attract uranium rockets. We're gonna jump on it. Tip it over. Tip it over. Come on now. Okay. It did good this time. I mean, other than materials on the ground, I guess that hurts a little bit, but. Oops. Oops. Oopsie. Oopsie doozy. I believe that's three per that we've gotten. And this is pressure. Pressure is what we want. Go. Go, 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 to the moon. Hell yeah. How am I fucking out this time? Let's go. Can I ride? Can I ride? Can I? All right, we're not riding. Oh. You're not, you're not obeying walls, I see. 
that. <laughs> that walls have no power here. Which we have plenty of. Oh. Is this special? Something's happening. This is a super alloy meteor shower. Super alloy for days. So here we go. This is this is my life now. Rock finder. We, we have just been a bunch of these. Being able to find them just on the ground. I've, it's like I'm gonna have to mow the lawn. I'm gonna have to traverse up and down. I mean, like, woe is me. Like, this is awesome. Jeez. Oh. Oh, I see it. That's Zeolite. I need that for uh, tech tree increases. Whoa. Nah. -uh. Oh, does it just start disappearing? The super alloy just started disappearing. The, damn it. All right, I guess they're not going to just give me hundreds of super alloy. They're going to let it sit on the ground for what? A minute? Yeah, I haven't found any in a few seconds. I guess I'm lucky I got what I did. On the other hand, I don't have to spend the next 20 minutes scouring for it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fight! Fight for your own survival. <laughs> oh. Is it going to come right back? Or does it die? Is that where it dies? Oh, we're not done yet. make two super alloy and a super super alloy and we look at the auto crafter it could be say right here it requires a lot of energy and what can it make i i didn't realize i could make a drone we can make super alloy feels like almost the best use of its materials I don't have to run around and get them. And it's gonna keep these things lower. Oh yeah, it's using them. In fact, we're at this point, we just need to be going like, this is iron, this is titanium. But I do wanna wrap around and see what the hell is down there. So we go east until here, right? Then we go, we follow the south. We want to slip through whatever this is. There we go. This is a cave. This is new. And on the map, there was a like a. Oh, this is new, new. Oh, those are the quasars, aren't they? Pulsar crystals. We can make fusion reactors with these. This is power. All right, passing Z-Light. Pulsars are the... Pulsars are everything right now. One more. There we go. Um, oh, that's tiny. That's a little tiny reactor. Let's put you right here. 1400 kilowatts oh man all right that is uh four times and some change more power than we currently had that is huge ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning in it, it, it was fun guys and i'll be back tomorrow so see you then have a good night